Hello everyone. Welcome back to Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. In this session, we are going to discuss the various losses, efficiency and regulation of transformer. In the previous session, we have discussed the construction working principle of transformer, EMF equation of transformer and the transformer ratios and rating of transformer. So, let's get started with the losses in the transformer. We have two types of losses in case of transformer. The losses which takes place in the winding of resistor, in the winding resistances is known as copper losses. We have this primary winding, this primary winding and this is secondary winding. So, this winding have its resistance and the loss taking place in this resistance is known as copper loss okay these are the this resist these windings are made up of copper material so and having some some amount of resistance so the loss taking place due to that resistance is known as power loss taking place due to that resistance is known as copper losses in the transformer so we have the primary copper loss and the secondary copper loss the summation of these two is called as total copper loss in the transformer which is denoted by capital P suffix Cu. Okay, the Cu for copper losses. So we have copper losses as uh, it is equal to primary copper loss plus secondary copper loss. Okay, so we know that it is due to the primary winding resistance and primary current. So I1 square into R2 plus secondary because power loss in a winding or power in winding is I square into R. So, it is for primary. So, I1 square into R1 plus I2 square into R2. This is the total power loss due to this two winding resistances. So, it is, it is the total copper losses as it depends upon the I1 and I2 value because R1 and R2 are the are constant. But I1 and I2 value are depending upon the load. As the load changes, this value ch this value changes. So, this copper loss also known as variable losses because its value depending upon the load, variable losses of the transformer. Okay. And to reduce this copper losses, we prefer the low winding resistance. Okay. So, we, to reduce this variable losses or to reduce this copper losses, we reduce the winding resistance of the primary and secondary winding. So, that the efficiency of the transformer will be better. Okay. Then, second type of loss is iron loss. This type of loss or the power loss which takes place in iron core material. This is the core material, core which is made up of iron okay so the power loss taking place in the core material iron core material is known as iron losses and it is denoted by capital p suffix i okay and it is made up of two components one is called as hysteresis loss and second is called as eddy current loss okay hysteresis loss and eddy current loss in the first unit we have discussed the hysteresis loop like this hysteresis loop we have discussed the, this area of hysteresis loop decides the decides this hysteresis loss okay the loss taking place in magnetization and demagnetization of this core is known as hysteresis loss okay if the large area is there then loss will be more if it is narrow then loss will be less okay this is the hysteresis loss and it is constant okay and we have the second loss ad current loss which is denoted by this p capital e this is loss which takes place in this iron core material only but due to the emf induced in that core because it is made up of iron and when, when this primary carries current, it produces the flux and this flux is linking 
as passing through the core so linking with the core also so emf gets induced in this core and due to that this emf current is circulated through this core okay and that current is known as eddy current and due to this eddy current we have the losses in the ion material which is known as eddy current losses okay this hysteresis loss this hysteresis loss is proportional to frequency it depends on frequency as we kept frequency constant so this stresses losses are also constant and the eddy current loss are proportional to frequency square so as as the frequency is maintained constant so this eddy current loss also constant so this ion losses are called as so called as constant losses of the transformer constant losses of the transformer these are the two losses present in the transformer let's see what is mean by efficiency of a transformer the efficiency of transformer is the ratio of output power to the input power into 100 so it will be in percentage so output power divided by input power is what output power plus losses okay so full load efficiency we calculate the efficiency as per load if the transformer is fully loaded fully loaded then full load efficiency if you want the half load efficiency then we can calculate half load efficiency or or at any load we can calculate the efficiency by using this expression so output power is what kva into cos of phi 2 into 1000 1000 is for because here we have taken the rating in kva okay so this is the output power kva into cos of phi 2 into 1000 this is the power factor on this secondary side so this output power plus losses losses are what first losses copper and second losses iron so pi plus pcv okay this is the expression for full load efficiency okay when the load decreases suppose we want to calculate the half load efficiency then what will happen suppose not full load we want to calculate the half load efficiency 50% load efficiency then this will be multiplied with 0.5 again this will be multiplied with 0.5 because if the transformer is of 1000 kv and now it is half loaded half loaded that means 5 500 kv okay so it so it will be called as half loaded so 0.5 into this kv into cos phi 2 into 1000 the power loss in the iron material remains same so power this pi remains constant but pcu changes as this 1 upon 2 because it is half load it square into pcu now the power loss will be replaced by this expression because we know that the copper losses are the variable losses because they depends upon the load as the load decreases the power losses also decreases in the square proportion okay so in this way we can calculate the efficiency of transformer at any load okay and when we will get the maximum efficiency when this condition satisfies iron losses is equal to copper losses at that condition only we will get the maximum efficiency in case of transformer okay when this iron losses equals to copper losses or say variable losses is equal to constant losses or constant losses is equal to variable losses this is the condition for maximum efficiency in case of transformer okay let's see what is mean by voltage regulation the voltage regulation is the change in secondary terminal voltage v2 from no load to full load with a primary source v1 and temperature of the transformer is maintained constant suppose we have this transformer okay with this primary winding and with this secondary winding we have here v1 and here v2 okay and suppose 
first we will have no load at this no load is connected at the output but we are supplying the v1 volt at the primary then at that time the no load voltage at the secondary is called as e2 voltage this e2 voltage is the no load voltage this is the voltage when no load is connected to the transformer now suppose in the second case what we will do we connect the load here okay now we are connect here load is connected so the voltage will be v2 this is the voltage when full load is applied okay full load is applied and this is again no load voltage no load voltage so change in secondary terminal voltage from e2 to v2 with respect to e2 is known as regulation of transformer because we want ideally we want this e2 equals to v2 for ideal transformer this e2 equals to v2 that means when we whether the load is connected or not connected the voltage at the output remains constant but practically this e2 does not equals to this v2 because due to the losses in the in the windings voltage drop in the windings due to that this v2 is always less than e2 due to the losses when the load is connected we have the losses or voltage drop due to that this v2 is less than e2 but at the no load there is no current in the winding so no voltage drop and due to that we have e2 is greater than v2 so the change in secondary terminal voltage v2 from no load e2 minus v2 divided by e2 is known as regulation of transformer and ideally for ideal transformer voltage regulation is 0% because e2 equals to v2 because e2 equals to v2 but in case of practically it is for example 1% 0.5% like this if the load is if the load is either resistive or inductive then we have voltage regulation positive in case of capacitive load we will get negative voltage regulation okay and also for the ideal transformer the efficiency is 100% as the power losses copper losses also zero and and losses also zero but it, it is in case of ideal transformer only in case of practical transformer we have the efficiency less than 100% and voltage regulation greater than zero either greater or less than 0% okay according to according to the load connected okay this is this is all about the losses efficiency and voltage regulation of transformer okay in the next session we will discuss the auto transformer how the auto transformer can be used as a step up transformer or a step down transformer and the difference between auto transformer and conventional two winding transformer so for that stay tuned and keep learning thank you